Today I am at North Carolina chain What a Burger. Check it out. No, it's not at all related to the Texas chain that's popular, What a Burger. It's a North Carolina thing. It's it's ancient. They don't have all of the original locations, I don't believe, because there's like number two and number thirteen, and I don't think there's thirteen of these things. Um, but they're all on the outskirts of Charlotte in the little towns and cities around. So I've driven 40 minutes to get up to Mooresville, nice little town just north of Charlotte, um, which enough of you have corrected me to tell me that it is in fact not Charlotte. This does not count as Charlotte. So when I said Bay's Burgers was one of the best burgers in Charlotte, you're like, no, that's not Charlotte. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I'm up here and I went to this one in case it's terrible, I can go get a Bay's Burger instead, but I have high hopes. Um, as you saw in that little clip there, it's this kind of old-timey sort of drive-in style restaurant. Uh, the staff in there, very like dine-in, drive-in kind of vibe. The clientele, it was a, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. Um, the reviews on this place are pretty mixed online. I got a double what a cheeseburger and fries. Idaho potato fries or something like that, um, which sounded fancier than the crinkle cut fries I kept seeing in the photos, so we'll see what they actually gave me. This burger though, ooh, this is hefty. Holy cow. Um, I got packets of salt and pepper, ketchup, not Heinz, but gourmet table, because what a burger. <laughs> um, yeah, this is hefty. Check her out. Let's let's take everything out. Um, sure enough, here are our crinkle cut Idaho potato fries, whatever they called them there. So we got those falling all over. Um, French fry. That's a lukewarm crinkle cut French fry. All right. Well, let's get the burger. The burger is the star of the show here. Man, I hope it's good. It wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap, so it needs to be good. And the toothpick was in there to keep the pickle on top. They're big on pickles at this place. Uh, for the drink, I got a cherry lemon sundrop. I assume they put some sort of cherry and lemon and sundrop which was interesting because it was a Pepsi fountain and didn't have Mountain Dew. Instead of Mountain Dew, they had Sundrop on there. I didn't know that was even an option down here. But here she is. I mean, it looks good. Yeah, there's a pickle on top. I don't know what's up with that. We're gonna take it off. We're gonna eat the pickle. It's a pickle. You got two burgers. Lettuce, tomato, mayo on the bottom. And two layers of cheese, so nothing on top. It's got our stupid selfie thumbnail with this thing. I already got a pickle in my teeth. You can't smile with pickle in your teeth. You gotta fix that. But then you go, hey. Okay. Um, ooh, it's dripping mayo. Okay, let's take a bite. Hmm, it's not bad, um, not bad at all, it's huge. But it's also not great, like, I'm very picky about my hamburgers. I want them to be bursting with flavor. This is not, these patties are, they're not bad, they're just nothing special. Which is also how I would explain the actual Texas chain Whataburger. Sorry, not sorry. Most overrated freaking chain ever. Well, that or in and out Overrated. Um, but this, if you want a big giant freaking cheeseburger with stuff on it, and you're in one of these little, little tiny towns on the outskirts of the big city, and I guess this is for you. But if you're in Mooresville, just go to Bay's Burgers down the road and get one of the best cheeseburgers you'll ever have instead of this. Hmm. 
the staff was friendly. The, the place was kind of cool. Like, I really have no complaints there. I've read a lot of Yelp reviews of people who got terrible service, but I didn't. This is messy. It just keeps dripping and dripping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save myself here. Whataburger. I've had people tell me, oh, we've got Whataburger here in Charlotte. I'm like, no, we don't. This isn't the Whataburger. This is something else entirely. Whataburger is actually coming to the Carolinas. I think they've got a location coming to maybe Anderson, South Carolina. They were trying to get into Malden, South Carolina, but the town rejected their proposal of where they wanted to go and the hours they wanted. So I don't know if that's happening. They've been looking at land here in Charlotte. I don't know if they actually bought the land of this old SunTrust bank. I don't know. But they're looking at expanding. I'm hoping there's no like legal challenge or something dumb like that from these guys. Because if you're gonna get a mediocre cheeseburger, it might as well be the exciting one with all the different options and the national recognition and all that good stuff, right? So I'm halfway into this, it's satisfying. Like it's, it's filling, it's decent. It's got kind of that good grilled hamburger taste um, that they love down here so much. There's these cookout chain, chains everywhere, these mediocre everything, except the milkshakes, the milkshakes, whatever. The food is just, eh. But people love it. I guess this is the flavor of the South. Fried chicken, grits, and mediocre cheeseburgers. Rewinding to something I was saying, and I went off on a tangent. Um, I got the cherry lemon sundrap, but they had a thing on there called the witch doctor, which I've heard people called all sorts of things. Like they call it a suicide or they call it a, something, right? And you, they, they get it, they mix every drink on the fountain. And then here they say they mix it with a pickle. And they maybe, I don't know if they put the pickle in the drink. They love their pickles here. I almost got that, but I'm an adult. <laughs> I know that's just dumb. I've done that as a kid. Oh, let's mix everything. I don't need that. Kind of like I don't need more salt right now, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put salt on these bland, bland fries. Just kidding, I can't find the salt packets. Wait, what are you? Iodized salt. Break here. <laughs> you don't have to tear it, it just breaks. What a world. Oh God, salt everywhere in my car. This car's a mess, oh my God. Mmm, salty. Now we're talking. So I don't know what other like big burgers to try here. I've had most of them. People keep telling me to go to this one that's uh, I don't even remember something. It's like the sandwich shop. Where's a bird? Um, and it's looks really sketchy, which means it probably has some decent food. But they're also trying to sell the location and get out of business. So I guess I gotta go before it's gone. But other than that, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna finish the burger. I'm not gonna get bays, which is tough because it's right there and it's so good. But this is this is decent enough. Mm. I guess I didn't go into this expecting I'd be wowed. Right? This place was truly a culinary destination. They'd be doing better. There'd be more of them. They'd be renovated. I don't know. The website wouldn't look like it was put together in 1997. I mean, it's bad. <laughs> It's not up to date. Maybe I'm giving it too much credit saying 97. Let's dial it back. Let's say like 95, 96. Early days of Internet Explorer or whatever, right? Well, that hit the spot because I was hungry. I'll give it that. See, they got all their locations on the wrapper. There's Concord, Kannapolis. I almost went to the Concord one. But I wanted the Bay's backup option. But after I saw that I spent $14, I kind of told myself, well, 
it's this or nothing. I'm eating this burger. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. And it was good. It was good. So I guess, am I recommending you go here? I, I, I don't understand why to go here. I don't know. It's a vibe. If you're looking for that, like, classic drive-in diner, like, straight out of the, like, 80s vibe, I don't know, 70s, I, I don't know, I don't know when this is from. Old. We had a place back home up in Rochester, New York called Nick Tahu Hots. I don't like to promote them. The owner's a complete waste of life. But they, uh, and the location's totally run down. It's not even their original one. But that's what I felt like I walked into here. It's that really old school, like, like we don't give a shit kind of vibe. That's what you get here. And, you know, maybe you're after that. But I would just go to Bay's Burgers. East number three is another good one. I don't think they're on the outskirts here. They're in Charlotte. I don't know where else they are. Yeah. Um, that's Whataburger. It's like 3.40 here on a Saturday. I need to pack for Chicago. I... What else do I need to do? I need to shop. It's going to be... In the 40s next week up there. Normally I could get away with wearing a hoodie, but I'm gonna be at a thing. I gotta be like business casual, kinda. So, do I just wear my polo that I normally do anyways and I wear a coat over it? Yeah. I've gotten fat. So I would need a new coat still. I need something. But that might make more sense than an entire wardrobe of long sleeve shirts I'm never going to wear again. Right? I don't know. People here are already wearing sweaters and stuff. Not today. It's like... It's 82 out at the end of October. I, uh, I guess I can't complain. It doesn't get crazy cold here, and I love that. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. So if we don't get a real fall, I guess I'll deal with it. The people here seem to think we get a real fall. They're like, oh, yeah, the weather's great. No, it doesn't happen here. We go from, like, summer to... Uh, like fall for maybe like two weeks and then random weather and then mild winter. That's that's it. Uh, there we go. Everything I got from Whataburger. If you're interested, I do have videos from the other Whataburger. I've been to... Louisiana a couple times while I was doing this channel and I filmed at the Whataburger there. I also filmed at Raising Cane's, so you can check those out. You, you search, you search YouTube, Poppy Eats, Whataburger, Poppy Eats, Raising Cane's. It's not hard. <laughs> They're out there. I had only had Whataburger once before, back in 2016. That was in, that was in Dallas, Texas. I had in and out I had Whataburger. Uh, both highly overrated. The only way I really got into the in and out was I had to get it just a plain old cheeseburger. None of the toppings, none of the animal style, protein, whatever, the mustard grilling, screw that. That's weird. The burger itself is a quality burger there. If you can taste the burger flavor. And you can only do that if you don't cover it in all this other random crap. You don't get the fries. The fries are trash there. I know people love it. And with Whataburger, I compared it to Burger King and people lost their shit over that. Uh, but really, it's not much different tasting to me. Quality's not really any better. It's, uh... 
But when people become obsessed with something, they, they defend it to the ends of the earth. Like, don't you trash my garbage plate from back home, or my Tully's tenders. Oh, I'll, I'll die on those hills, those are the best things. <laughs> so I get it, right? And now that's all gone. So, I guess I'm gonna make the 40 minute drive back home. It was not worth a 40 minute drive. But I had to do it. I had to try it. Wanted to go on an adventure today. There's my adventure. So, thanks for watching guys. I'm Poppy, this is Poppy Eats. Y'all have a good one.